go. Thanksgiving dinner at my Aunt Joe's house back in the 80s. She made this marble cake that was bomb. It was like witchcraft or something. Half the cake was one flavor, half was another flavor. Anyway, I'm eating this cake in her living room. And let me tell you something. It was like World War III up in there. <laughs> In some places, you just cannot break the rules. And Mexico is one of those places. So today we got some friends and family. And some familiar faces. To tell you. What you should. And shouldn't do. In, in Mexico. Mexico. Top of the list, like the very top of the list is, do not call the USA America. This is specifically for anyone who uses social media in any capacity. It's just bad decorum and people will come for you. Trust me. Next tip is to taste it first, baby. Do not immediately ask for something with extra picante or reach for that hot sauce. It already comes spicy, baby. I'm deep diving in the deep end. This is compared. Oh, this is pain. Oh, f This is no joke. <laughs> You went jumping into the deep end. Don't hurt yourself. Hola, señor. ¿Cómo está? ¿De dónde eres? No habla español. No habla español. Uh, ¿Tú habla inglés? Don't be that person. Hey, guys. My name is Ford Quarterman. I'm from Georgia in the United States, but I've been living on and off in Mexico for a couple years now. And I would say the number one thing, number one thing not to do in Mexico is not speak Spanish. Now, I understand speaking fluently takes a long time, even years or just a lot of a lot of brain power and effort. If you can learn it fluently, your experiences and all of your relationships and everything are gonna to be two times better in Mexico, number one. But if you can't learn it fluently, at least learn some basic words and basic phrases. Hola, como estas? Me presento, me regalas, te puedo pedir, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Some things that will at least show the locals that you're trying and that you have a respect for their local language. Imagine someone coming to your country and speaking in their native tongue to you and expecting that you understand it and even getting frustrated or mad when you don't understand it. You know what? In America, Bye. we speak English. So? Well, we're lucky Mexicans don't do that to us, you know, and it'd be understandable if they did. So at least learn a little bit of Spanish in every day more. Number one thing not to do in Mexico, not speak any Spanish. Cheers, guys. Don't assume that Mexico is all danger and cartels, but I will tell you this. All a hammer sees is nails. All a bee sees is honey. And all a hoe sees is money. Are there, are there nice people in Tampa? And uh, the... The other person asked, how are people in your town? And he said, oh, they're all nasty, they're all lazy, oh, okay. and you know, they'll cheat. Oh, exactly that you will find in Tampa. <laughs> <laughs> and then this other, the other person said, oh no, where I'm from, people are nice, they're helpful, they're funny. They, well, that's exactly what you will find in Tampa. <laughs> so you find exactly <laughs> what you're expecting. I like it. I like nothing it. more, nothing less. Do not go to a public restroom empty-handed. You need to go with a little bit of change and possibly some toilet paper. Here's a really good one, guys. Do not slam mezcal. We don't have to drink it, you know, uh, like tequila in a shot. We have to taste it a little, like kia yeah, kisa, right. in order to figure out the flavor of, of each of the gaba plants. You're disrespecting the culture. Don't slam it, baby. Kiss it. This is agave tobasiche. Okay, I'm going to drink too. <laughs> okay, salud. Drink sip by sip. It's important to drink sip by sip. Is your family Zapotec? Uh, yeah. Okay, so you say this, 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 uh, Yeah, uh, it's this Okay, cheers. And sip, drink by. Do not slam mezcal. You're disrespecting the culture. Don't slam it, baby. Kiss it. <laughs> Look, penetrating the culture of Tlacochawaya and Oaxaca would not have been possible without learning the language. Now, if you have challenged yourself to learn a different language for whatever reason, trying to penetrate the culture, move to a new country, got a new job, consider Lingopie. Lingopie is the world's first language learning platform that uses TV shows and movies to teach new languages. And it is our number one yeah. language learning tool. We've been rocking with this thing for a couple of years now and love it, sincerely. It has held us down through Brazil. Oh, yeah. Woo! 
<laughs> and it is really helping us to polish our Spanish speaking skills here and dive deeper into the culture of Mexico. Like we already enjoy de-stressing yeah. by watching TV, Facts. Uh, watching shows Facts. and movies on Netflix. And it's what's almost really an cool addiction. <laughs> is that LingoFi has this Netflix plugin and you can watch your Netflix shows using the same features that's on their platform. It's a little stress learning. I get to build my flashcards as I watch a movie. I get to speed up or you know, slow down the language as it's spoken, rewind, play it mm -hmm. back, on screen transcription tools. Mm -hmm. It's just easy to use. I mean, I like that there's interactive subtitles. Um, you can practice your pronunciation with their Say It feature. Yep. There's just really so many Quizzes cool things. that you like to do. What I really appreciate is that they're always adding and improving their offerings. Their like service. Netflix. Yes, they didn't have that before. They have it now, but even now, like they've Like online added, live classes. They've added live yeah, classes. Yeah, so yeah, if yeah. you want to speak with an actual person, an actual teacher to get that sort of immersion in your language learning journey, you can. If you have a traveler in your life, if you're not a traveler and you have a traveler in your life, we strongly urge you to get this for them for the, for the holiday season. Seriously, they will thank you eternally. They offer a yearly subscription. They offer mm -hmm. a lifetime subscription. That's pretty cool. That's really cool. And both of them are relatively affordable. So if you are interested in checking out LingoPie, head to the description or go to our pinned comment. You'll find the link. Sign up, check it out for yourself, and get a seven-day free trial. It's widely known that a lot of people do come to Mexico because of its lower cost of living and because of its affordability. But this familiar face gives a really good tip on handling negotiations in Mexico. Hey, Maddie from Maddie Gold here. My advice for what not to do in Mexico is immediately jump to haggling or negotiating the price with vendors. I am guilty of doing this when I first got to Mexico because I thought it was just customary to do so, when in actuality, vendors are just marking their products up enough to make a profit most of the time. This could be a little different in touristy areas like say Cancun or Puerto Vallarta where the prices are a little bit higher because of that tourism. But in general, don't do the haggling. If you want to do something, look at the product that you're interested in, ask for the price, and if you're not feeling it or you're not sure, just walk away. Sometimes the vendor will lower the price and essentially negotiate against themselves. Another thing you could do if you feel like it's a little bit elevated on the price or you just don't know is ask a couple different vendors in the area to get a gauge and then go ahead and buy the product with the best price. Good luck out there. Some facts of life is some people are out here praying for your demise and there's a certain way you need to be moving out here in Mexico. In fact, here's somebody to tell you about watching your six in Mexico. Don't take anything for granted. Um, people are nice, but um, always be aware of your surroundings and always be aware that uh, because there are some underbelly things going on, sometimes people will talk to you because they're trying to figure out things about you. So don't be so gullible and tell everybody everything about you. Take everything with, you know, with, with discernment and you will have a good time. Do not move to Mexico for the peace and quiet. Mexico is a place of passion, expression, fiestas and celebrations. And you're really going to get a lot of that and appreciate it in Mexico. While you're enjoying the fiesta, the beaches, the parties, the celebration, the mezcal, the tequila, one thing you need to know is public drunkenness is not accepted here, nor is it tolerated. Look, the police are itching to give you a ticket if you're drinking on the street, so do not drink your drink on the street. Don't be impatient. Don't forget to tip. Don't drive on an untold road at night. And uh, don't be a fool. We hope you learned something new today. From our friends and family. And those familiar faces. About having a good time and staying safe in, in Mexico. Mexico.